Your humble and selfless energy is why God rewards you. Okay? If you thought it was a different reason, I'm here to steer you in the right direction. All right? Your humble and selfless energy is why God rewards you. Okay? You definitely don't look like what you've been through. Some people may feel like it's downright unfair okay or someone may even or people may even feel like you know how do you do what you do okay some of them may feel like it's magic okay i'm getting every little thing she does is magic but it's not it's faith and physics quite literally okay the divine heavily protects you because of some kind of calling here that you haven't lost sight of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because of this protection, okay, a new you is emerging. Perhaps something in alignment with your soul purpose here. Let me get an oracle on this message. Holy Spirit. Your humble and selfless energy is why God rewards you. Mm. You got the universe card. Always be in harmony with the universe. Okay? It's definitely giving Tricuerta energy. Trinity. Okay? Cubits. Okay? Metatron. This is, this is in... The Hall of Records, okay? This is in the Akashic. You possibly took some time to research into your Akashic to study what has already occurred for your soul signature to understand, okay, what are some other areas that I could work on this lifetime to complete maybe tasks from a past life. 303 may be significant. Mm-hmm. You took time to go within. Light. Something about light and the universe, okay? Heavy star energy here, okay? That's also giving me Merkaba. So you may be fine-tuning your Merkabic program, or you may even be switching it to a different program. If, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there are eight different programs, okay? Maybe you were running your OS, i.e. your, your avatar, on one program, but you may be switching it up for the sake of a particular mission. Weave your spells by the light and stars and listen to your inner voice. Ooh, the divine may be calling you to switch it up, okay? Now, that may be different for each and every one of you, starseeds. Some people may not understand why you're switching it up, but ultimately, they may even downright judge what you're doing. But... Do they know who sent you? I guess they fit to find out. <laughs> Starseeds. You've been chosen for a very important mission. Okay. Shall we go ahead and um look into what this mission is for some of you? Let's get some deets. Light and the universe. Mm. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay, you are the water barrier. Okay, you could be an Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or you may have prominent Aquarius placements that are significant in this reprogramming. Mm. Heavy intel. It's like, especially with this card. I imagine as you cleanse your macabic field and prepare your operating system for the new program, you take up the holy basin and you spin and rinse, okay? Probably how they bathed in the Nile back in those days. For some of you, you could have had a past life in Egypt or anywhere for that matter, Greece. Mm. There's something dynamic about your energy right now 
that is prompting you to bring love into the situation. Now, some people may be confused about this new direction, right? Maybe you're pouring love onto situations that people wouldn't expect you to pour love in. But essentially, when your heart chakra is open, that's how you manifest. And although it may be difficult at times to love the ones who hurt us, this isn't about them. It's about you. Mm. New moon in Aquarius. You're secretly healing something. You're secretly healing something. You're going to get notes of this in your intuition as you meditate and contemplate on how this new program is going to affect your deliverables. Mm, couldn't make it up if I wanted to. Yep, yep. Yep, Spirit is urging you to keep studying. There's some dynamic of whatever this is that you're manifesting that requires more research. Okay, the answer is yes. The answers you need are coming. There's something that you're studying right now, Star Seeds. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. There's something that you are studying right now that is literally, you may feel like, God, I just want to hurry up and do this. No, like you're doing exactly what you need to do right now. You know, your ops may think they have won, seemingly so, right? Or whatever the circumstances are, maybe this isn't even about your ops. There is something that you are avidly studying right now that is in alignment with your soul purpose. You need to just stay focused on whatever that is. For some of you, this study could be practice, right? You are honing or mastering some kind of study here that is essential to this macabre program, okay? It's essential. Even if the whole world may think that your beliefs are taboo or what you're, what you're planning on doing won't be successful, the creator is pleased, okay? So how I feel about it is if the divine is for you, who could be against you here? Mm. Wow, you got Galactic Federation energy coming out? Whoa, you may be on special assignment? Well, now we're going to have to switch decks for that. Why is the Galactic Federation coming out? 